Alright. Uh, I ordered two flexible LED strips from uh, Osnames.com. They're nine and a half inches. Here's one of them, and here's the other one. I also ordered uh, this LED switch from Osnames.com. Uh, I also ordered these two LED lights. They're they're red, uh, super flux. LED chips that I may or may not put uh, into my cup holders. I haven't decided that yet. So far, I've only done some of the wiring that I need to. Um, I think I'm doing it right. Uh, Alright, so this switch over here, the LED switch that I, I, I cut out the hole and I, I already put it in. Um, skipped that part in the video, but to the right, that is the ground or the negative terminal. Uh, I will have that attached to the negative terminal of my car battery. The middle, that is the power source, so that will come from the positive terminal of my car battery. And the red wire to the left, that's my accessory wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, attach any of my LEDs somehow to that wire by basically cutting uh, some of the wire and uh, soldering the positive terminals of the LED strips or the LED lights to it. Um, I think that's the correct way to do it from uh, everything I've been looking at online. I guess we'll find out if, uh, if I blow a fuse or something. Uh, speaking of fuses, this power the power red wire that I will attach to my car battery, uh, I know that it has to have a fuse to it. So the, this, these two wires right here will be connected to my um, car battery wire. I still need to go out and get a fuse for uh, for this red wire. Because at the end I will attach a fuse and from that, the other end of that wire I'll attach to the positive terminal of my car battery. Um, all the negative terminals of my LED switches um, our lights rather will somehow be incorporated into this black negative terminal wire from the uh, from the power switch. Now I did it that way because um, it's the only way I knew how to make sure that my LED light on my switch goes on when my LED lights go on. You see that I have one of the LEDs uh, LED strips attached so far. How I did that was, I took, how it comes is just, it has no connector at the end, it just comes with the, with the wires, uh, just like that. One of them is copper, one of them is silver. Copper is positive. I took the copper wire, the positive wire, and, let's see, I kind of taped things so it's difficult to, to tell. I took the copper wire, positive, and I attached it to... Uh, the accessory wire, this one on the left. Right, um, I basically just soldered it together and wrapped electrical tape around it. The negative wire of the LED light, uh, the silver one, I took and I soldered it to the negative terminal of the LED switch. Right, so, so far everything's working. Uh, next, I will solder the second LED light to uh, to some point of this accessory wire, and I will also attach the negative, the silver part to the um, of that wire to this black wire from the negative terminal of the of the switch.